Hey guys, it's Googly Game with another ROM review, and this time I've got the AOS IP ROM for the OnePlus 6T. So stay tuned for that. So guys, the OnePlus 6T now has a fully functional AOS IP ROM as with a lot of other ROMs also. So that's a really good news. Let's get started with AOS IP. First of all, what you would see here is that there is ambient display. It is working. It does have pickup and hand wave mode and all that. And also fingerprint scanner is also working correctly as you would expect with any ROM right now. Now after you unlock this device, you will see the launcher. It is actually quick step. So you will have all the basic stuff you will find in quick step launchers. Guest option is available. It is one of my favorite features about quick step. It works really well. I'm really happy with that. Let's go to settings now. In the settings menu in the about phone page, you can see that it is uh, Android 9.0 version. Built is this one, 14.5, that is the 14th May version. May security patches and kernel is Illusion kernel 49175. And SLM status is enforcing for those who care about that. So that's it in the about phone page. Now, AOS IP ROM, it's a very interesting ROM. It is, in my opinion, one of the more balanced ROM out there for any device, actually. It has a lot of features and a lot of interesting features, but it doesn't really bog down with a lot of secondary features, I would say. I'm not really sure how, what, how I would describe that. It has a very pleasant level of features. A lot of them work. I mean, almost all of them work uh, really well, and it's a very useful experience, in my opinion. Let's get started. Before everything, everything Everything is working, VLT is working, Wi-Fi is working, I don't have any issues with any of that. As a phone, it is a very, very good daily driver. There are a few things which I would have appreciated more, but I'll talk about them in the experience section. Let's go to the extra stuff. In the extra stuff, most of the extra stuff are is inside Altness. In the Altness, there is Talisman option where you can find the battery up percentage and the battery style can be customized. It does have Q, uh, Q style hidden, all of that is available. There was a user who complained about having a uh, venue selecting a uh, text or uh, not having any percentage if you connect the uh, power to your phone it will show the percentage on the status bar and uh, it won't go away if you disconnect it so i haven't had that issue maybe something wrong with the particular build or particular uh, version the carrier label options are available clock options are also available with alignment and AMPM indicator all of that is available icon section is available with all of these icons which can be enabled or disabled use old uh, mobile style custom logo is available all of that is pretty nice to see i mean more of the interesting features hide notches is available if you are sickened by that. VLD icon can also be disabled and it does not have the stupid HD logo which is really really cool. I like that. Network traffic indicator is available with the traffic indicator placement so you can have it just on the expanded status bar or you can just have it anywhere so that's pretty cool. In the quick setting panel you do have options for brightness slider. You can have it underneath the quick setting panel with the minus and plus sign with adaptive brightness icon. All of that can be enabled. These are all the quick settings which I have enabled basically but you can edit it. These are all the options which are available. Uh, it does have immersive mode, AOD, all of that is available, even high brightness mode is available, which is pretty cool. And you can customize that from here, from the three dot menu, portrait columns, rows, quick bar columns, and all can be customized, which is pretty neat to see. Now, expanded options, quick pull down is available, smart pull down is available, all of these options are available, animations can be set for that, and also information header and security footer can be enabled or disabled. Now, in the notification options, you do have ambient music ticker, which does work really well. Battery light indicator is available, stupid on our device, but hey, it's still available. Heads up display can be customized it does have a less annoying heads up display so it will only show up for dialer or messaging application timeout can be customized with snooze timer which i kept disabled notification options are available where you can enable kill app all button so i really like that uh noisy notification when the screen is on toast app icon can be enabled or disabled in the navigation option you do have nav bar and you can enable the pixel animation it does have stock uh, nav bar and smart bar and fling bar settings you can customize that with smart bar you have a lot more options there so it does work out really well now this time i did try out the uh, nav bar settings and it does work out really well but it also has the navigation gesture section uh, you have to disable that to get a uh, nav bar to be enabled or vice versa so just keep that in mind i like the gesture navigation and it does have the uh, trigger height and trigger timer which can be customized to your liking in the hardware button you have a reboot option advanced reboot can be enabled volume button customization is available it does have keyboard cursor control and also the uh, playback control which does work out really well now in the recent menu you can customize the recent style to 
audio if you like that but personally quick step has worked out really well for me so i like that in the lost options you do have lost me shortcuts you can enable that i've selected none because i like that that way charging info can be enabled whenever you plug in your device a media cover art lost screen album art filter can be enabled clock widget clock style can be customized trample pin layout fingerprint authentication vibration can be enabled face auto lock is available which you can customize visual other options are available which you can enable for the ambient display and also a custom color can be customized or have a generated color now in the gesture options you do have a usb gestures which is double tap on the power button for jump to camera activating the torch and all that is available which does work out three finger gestures are available brightness control is available which does work out while sliding across the status bar which is nice double tap to sleep is available uh, on the lost screen and status bar which does work out in the advanced settings you have app ops if you want to manage the permissions blink flashlight on call is available and just for the love of god just keep this disabled it's not worth it from the scorn you get from the public vibrate on connection is available and you can customize that if you want to and that is it in the owl's nest section apart from that in the display options you will see that it does have adaptive brightness it does have double tap to wake when the screen is off display cutout can be modified if you like some other size i mean i'm not sure why but uh, it is available ambient display options are available as i've already talked about always on can be enabled new notification show when charging is available tilt sensor and proximity sensor options are available and you have an option to manually select the ambient display brightness so that is actually really really cool as you would have already noticed when i unlocked the device or when the ambient display came up it was at a very low brightness that was because the night brightness is set at two and as of now it is still night and i really like that it does work out really well now device theme options are available you can select a dark mode or a light mode uh, and it does have black af see i am using that and it is pretty cool accent color can also be customized and it does have black white all of that and a various shade of blue which i like display options are available for font size and display size in the additional buttons you can customize the alert slider which does work out and this is something which i really really like uh you can customize the vibration strength for the system that is touch input call and notification separately which does uh, make a very very substantial difference the way you interact i don't want full vibration strength for uh, just navigation gestures like when i'm using the navigation buttons i don't want it to be vibrating like an earthquake so that's just how it is but i do want it to vibrate like an earthquake when i'm get a call it does have display mode with high brightness mode if you want to use that and all of these options are available in the system option it does have an usip updater which i have seen uh, it does work out uh, i'm really happy with that and that's pretty much it in the settings or extra features and as you can see it is a loaded rom it does have a lot of extra features which does work out and as i've said it doesn't have any extra bloatware a lot of the options here are the ones which i already use with all of the roms which i've tried out and i really appreciate the features available here i don't think i badly miss any of the features but uh it just works out really well so it's a very good compilation of features now the battle life the battle life on this rom has been pretty decent for me i've been getting about one percentage or 1.1 percentage maybe as an idle drain which does make a very good computer daily driver active drain has been somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 percentage which is also pretty cool i do know of a few people who have tried custom kernels and with their own custom profiles and getting about 0.4 0.5 percentage of idle drain which is really really cool now the performance of the rom the performance of the rom is about average as you would expect it's about 290,000. i have run uh, multiple runs uh, incidentally so i was able to do that pretty respectable for a pi rom on this device so it does work out really well now the stability of the rom the stability of the rom is pretty okay i didn't have any major crashes or any major issues with the rom it just worked as it should apart from that i don't think any of the issues are available uh in the stability wise uh, every application works whichever i used it i didn't have any crashes which i would consider as a win for me so it works out really well now the camera i mean it is snap camera it works but uh, it's pretty nerved in my opinion it works it works as a decent camera application but personally i would go for a gcam application which does work really well you can customize that now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom is pretty cool it does have like black af it does have custom uh themes and custom uh, accent color customization it does have a lot of things which does work out um i'm not gonna say it's very interesting it is what you i would kind of expect out of a custom rom with a lot of features so it, it does deliver that so i'm really happy with that now something which i do want to mention is that it does have a smart pixel option in here in the battery options can enable that if you want to and also aggressive battery drain can be enabled if you want to personally i don't use that keep that in mind and now comes the overall experience of the rom the overall experience of the rom has been very positive for me it works 
it is very good daily driver and as i've already said it's a no-nonsense rom with a lot of features i have actually given a pixel experience rom as the no-nonsense rom award because it just is but if you like a lot more features and if you like to tinker around with your phone i mean aos ip could probably take it home because it just works really well i'm really happy with it let me show you guys a boot animation which before we go because it is an interesting boot animation so here is the boot animation which uh well it's quite electrifying and uh, i like the boot animation it's minimal it gives an impact and uh, it, it just works so i'm really happy with that so guys there you have it i do want to mention something the new may security patches all the roms have this issue where the team in recovery will be encrypted so you will either have to use an odg cable to flash stuff or you will have to use side load, adb side load to flash new stuff or uh, whatever you want to do so just keep that in mind it is a known issue uh, people are working on it so just keep that in mind before you go onto the forum and blast things about it so so yeah i guess how much is it about the rom then uh one more thing which i do want to mention is that the dialer doesn't have call recorder or proximity sensor automatic uh, mode and everything that is probably the only thing which i would like improved on this rom i just like that so just wanted to throw that out there so i guess how much is it about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye